Welcome back to where we're at, uh, standing dangerously close to this guy. Uh, if you don't want us to stand this close to you, uh, make sure you subscribe. Shill incoming. <laughs> I was gonna say that every time now. Uh, yeah, shill, but, uh, seriously, uh, subscribe or, uh, we'll stand like this close to you. Maybe we'll stand this, oh, we can't get by, oh, yeah, we can't, maybe we'll stand, ah, that's too far away. We'll stand this close to you, though, you know. So, uh, subscribe, leave a like, all that good stuff. Uh, we're here, uh, oh, uh, also, real quick, just a quick thing, uh, we have, uh, we gained just a couple levels, and then I didn't feel like grinding anymore, but, uh, Lorelai has a lucky egg, um, upon research, if you go to the Safari Zone on a Friday between 7 and 8, yeah, uh, there you is, you find, yeah, you end up finding a, in the, in, this is in the first area, by the way, so we could have done this way earlier, yeah, uh, there's just a chancy there, on the overworlds, and that chance he has a 100% chance of having a lucky egg the yeah. first time you encounter it. So don't knock it out. Now we bet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and just catch it. Uh, we use uh, the patented safari ball for it. Uh, and you might be wondering, why are we this close to this guy? Well, let's uh, let's find out. My wife and I just recently moved here from Diamond Peak Town up north. It was a rough move, having to cross the ocean and all, but I love our new home. I've enjoyed the new place, but boy, are there a lot of choice, chores that constantly need to be done. Hey, wait a minute. Is that our box? That box you're holding looks like the one we lost in our move. A fisherman found it. I guess that makes sense. I'm so surprised it survived. I actually remember this conversation from this guy, because I was like, oh, that's kind of odd. You seem to be the type that likes to travel. I gave our old neighbor a suitcase of mine before we left, but I forgot to give him the key for it. If you wind up in Diamond Peak Town, could you try to give him the key? All right, and with that, we're going to drag a Diamond Peak Town. Dragon... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for returning our box. I can't believe we got it back. Look, I'm four hours of sleep, and it's 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 a, a, struggle. It's a struggle. I was about to say Dragon Roost Isle, and I forgot. I was about to say hey, that's not it either. <laughs> uh, the reason I said Dragon though is because we're actually going to where the lady is that uh, is that has Draco Meteor. I actually don't remember where that lady is though. Ladies. Oh, that it's, lady. It's this guy. This is who we need to talk to. I'm, yeah, a friend of mine gave me a suitcase before I moved away. I just can't seem to open it. What? He took the key? It is on purpose to make me look like a fool. Oh, he forgot? Seems like a likely excuse coming from him. Let me try the key out. It unlocked. There is nothing in it. All this time, all this anticipation, and nothing. Worthless. Get it out of my sight. And you can tell my friend thanks for nothing. He'll get it. All right, and now we need to go back to Hayesport. Actually, conveniently, where we need to go for plot. This actually kind of works out nicely, though, <laughs> uh, because we got one more thing that to do. The final one we can't do because we don't have rock climb yet. Uh, but we need to find uh, our Apollyon Apollyon building. Um, that would be the Trident building. Oh. It's that building over there, actually. I'm so nervous. I got an interview at the Trident Tower. It would be an honor to work for Girl. I hope I can look professional enough to land the job. Whoa, is that a suitcase you have? Why didn't I think of that? A suitcase is, like, the most professional thing you can have. You're just going to let me have it? Thank you so much. All I have to offer in return is my lunch, which is fine. I wouldn't want to spill any of it on my suit. These apples are notoriously juicy. I was just flirting with danger trying to eat that before my big interview. Yeah, you were. All right, so. Well, look at that. I was just talking about you, Chase. The Trident Tower tournament is about to kick off, and you're just in time to enter. I've been bragging about you to all the guests. They expect you to put on a good show. I'm going to head up to the roof. I'll let them know you're on your way to enter. See you up there, Chase. So yeah, the uh, the last one of those we can't actually do just yet, um, mainly because of uh, we gotta have rock climb for it, and we don't have rock climb. So it is time for the elite four. Our team's pretty strong. Uh, Lorelai's gonna have the lucky egg just to catch up on levels if we need it. Um, honestly, uh, I don't know who we're leading with. Uh, uh, Obvious sounds like a. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, Ivy sounds like a, seems like a good solid lead. Uh, Just flexing. Don't worry about it. 
yeah, just, you know. So, to the rooftop we go. Yeah. Just a disclaimer, as soon as you confirm your entry, you will not be allowed to leave until you've won, resigned, or been disqualified. In addition, you will not be allowed to use your nurse's healing machine, and you will not be able to buy items. Are you sure you're ready to compete? Yes. Fantastic. I'll get you registered and on your way. I wonder if we're supposed to go to the museum first. Uh, I think we go here, because they've already given the thing away. Either way, I mean, we need to do this anyway. So. Well, I mean, we... You you put together that we're, that it's in the trophy. Well, they said but that doesn't mean everyone else did. Unless the well, they said they put something in the trophy. They didn't say they put the shard in there, did they? Yeah, they did. Because that was the whole okay. plot point of them. Like when the that one guy stole it, he was like, the, they made an agreement. It's like, oh well, we're actually going to put it in the trophy, but we're not going to like give away the trophy for it. So, creating tournament bracket. We have 16 trainers competing, which means you'll potentially be facing off against four of them in total. You and your opponent are actually the first match. Your opponent will be waiting in the arena when you're ready. Uh, oh. Oh, our rival's there. Welcome, everyone, to the Trident Tower Tournament. I'm Monica Moonstone from Haysport News, and I'll be your host for the event. Joining me is our sponsor for the competition, Geralt. Geralt. Hello, thank you so much for being here today. The air is electrifying. That is it, <laughs> Geralt. Now, let us officially begin. Our first round between Marcus from Dunestone Oasis and Jace from... Well, we're not entirely sure where Jace is from, but we're sure they'll give us a great performance regardless. Competitors, please meet in the middle. Nice to get the chance to battle you again, Jace. Now that the memory of my people has been intertwined in this tournament, I have to be the one who wins. I'll say, oh yeah, this is that kid that stole the thing. Yeah. And begin. Alright. Uh, I didn't leave with the best choice here. We'll just hard swap in Ashley, because I don't know how these go. 71. So, uh... 75 is probably the champion. Or at least the last one's level. That's e bump in a lot. Probably. Uh, so we might need to actually grind. But, you know. We're gonna try not to. Drag oil. Uh, so this is a chance for Lorelai to just come in and ice beam. Dun -dun. I was worried. I was about to say, are we faster? But yeah, we, we quick. We quick, mommy milkers. You didn't think I forgot, did you, Death? I mean, that one just didn't make any sense. Yeah. Parasong might, Parasong might come in clutch, you never know. I mean, maybe. Uzma. They said Uzama. Uh, Ripjaw, because I don't know what you are. This is the evolution of that. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> I think that's the evolution of... Um, Muck is what it is, I yeah, think. Yeah, Muck is what I was thinking. Eruption. Also, Ow. Uzma what? <laughs> Uzma nuts. <laughs> that thing got bopped, by the way. Dun dun dun. Cacturn. Well, yeah, we'll swap. We'll go. We'll go with some Umbra action. I feel like Umbra hasn't had a whole lot of action as of late. But that's okay. We sweep those. We do sweep those. I feel like so far it's been pretty... Ooh, Flygon. Um... I guess we go Lorelei again. Although Flygon's kind of quick, but I think we'll still at speed. Yeah. Also, we, we we once again forgot to give Savagery a uh, submission. Oh, yeah. I was about to say, I wonder if this thing's gonna have a berry. And it did, of course. So I wonder if we'll get healed up between fights, or it's like, we just keep going. Probably not, because you said access to the nurse's station. That's what I was kind of wondering. Alakazam. So, damage is very crucial to not be on us. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> you think so? Good. It's got Calm Mind. Uh, don't have Focus Sash. That's what I ask of you, Alakazam. 
I mean, he's gonna survive this. Now that he's just used calm mind. All right, everybody. Do you doubt power of Umbra? Sixty-eight. Ooh, power jaw. Power power jaw. Power up. We don't want to learn power up though. Is someone level seventy-seven? I like saw that really fast. Yeah, he is. It's because he's traded evolution. Oh. I have failed my ancestors. What an intense battle. The first round goes to Jace. Was it intense? I don't think it was that intense. Competitors, please head to the tournament lobby to update your battle record. Oh, it's the shiny hunter guy. Let the tournament continue. Up next, we have Donnie, the self-proclaimed shiny hunter, facing off against Jace, the trainer shrouded in mystery. All right, trainers, make your opening remarks. You're stupid. That's my opening remark. Looking forward to our battle, Jace. But you shouldn't expect to see me in the competing in the tournament. Shiny Pokemon love to battle, too. If this guy doesn't have Shiny Pokemon, we'll be really disappointed. <laughs> oh, well, hey, good thing I'm sending Venusaur here. I'm just going to go ahead and Leech Seed. I probably should just went for it. Probably, but you're right. You're right. You, you never know. You never know with Melodic. And the Cactus Smash. I was about to say, that didn't kill. Because it hung up at the very end. But it did. Get out of here, Melodic. Ooh, Fero. Ow, Fear. Uh, that thing was what? Fly? It's probably the fighting Dark one. fighting is what it is. Oh, or, I mean, it could be the normal one. It's Savagery... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're risking it. We're risking it here. All right, Savagery. Oh, that's actually a really good shiny. We are faster. Oh, we do have Flay Rough. I forgot we did. Yeah. Get out of here. Savagery just was like, hold, hold my beer. Well, I mean, now we're stuck using Flay Rough. All right, well, I we're not this. standing against Metagross. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll go Ashley and just, you know, hit a strong, uh, a, a nice solid flame move. Always solid, shiny. Yeah, Metagross does have a really good uh, shiny. That did nothing. You had an Oka Berry, that explains it. Do we eat this hand? Probably. <laughs> well, eat's a strong word. This should Oko, though. I still think, I still think Metagross survives this. I don't know, okay. I, I never really know how much uh, Oka Berry reduces the damage. 50%, right? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, Steelix. A bit in the red there. Um, I wonder. Two steel types. Uh, yeah, I wonder if Earth Power would be better than Crab Hammer. Uh, I mean, Crab Hammer would definitely be. Wait, Earth Power for who? Umbra. Oh. Because Steelix is really strong on the physical side. I'm gonna go Umbra. I yeah, but as they say, hear me out. You can curse. <laughs> I w well, I was thinking about it, but we haven't had a need for. Oh, the, the Rolex. We, we gotta save our ace strategy. We don't want the other people to know. That we need Rolex? Rolex. Yeah. Rolex. It's a Rolex, though. That's the watch. Yeah, but it's a Steelix, so he's Rolex. <laughs> he's rolling out. That Earth Power did a ton to it, by the way. Yeah, it did. Like, that would have definitely O-Code if he didn't have Sturdy. Although, now there's Sand up. Interesting choice with two shot uh, two oh Gorochu. I am actually interested to see what this thing looks like, Shiny. Uh, we'll go Ripjaw Nail and Crab Hammer. That's a I don't know if I like that. That is a you have Fire Gem overheat. This is gonna hurt. Okay, didn't hurt nearly as much as I thought it would. What you, you don't like blue Gorochu? It's more of a violet color. Oh, this person knew. Violet. <laughs> Scarlet and Violet coming at you now. I mean, it's probably it's certainly better than their well, I, original Pikachu lines colors. Do we <laughs> know what shiny a colors. Li Lepidon is? No. Although, I'm, the fact that it says, it, the fact that it has Dawn in it, it Dawn dragon. probably means it's a dinosaur. Also a dragon. Oh. Nope. Oh, Edon. Eon. Oh, this Le is a, this is a Le this, is, there we go. this is definitely a bug ED. Yeah. Hmm. I didn't see the name myself. Uh. 
did we just one shot it? No. Cold. Oh, you have a South Berry? Uh, bug Buzz probably would be more useful there. At Bug Buzz, I was worried about a Bug Buzz, but it's going down next Oh, why, why did he Bug Buzz? That's so weird. Do you not have Bug Buzz? He's still not doing it. I, I don't know. I mean, he was going down next time anyways with a sand up. All right, Donnie, get out of here. What a spectacular battle. Not grand. Another rousing battle between two fantastic Pokemon trainers. Competitors, please head to the tournament lobby to update your battle records. Oh, nope, that uh, That's not, I don't think we recognize this person. Yeah, I don't either. Uh, sure, leading Avi the entire time. What a wild ride it's been so far. We're reaching the end. Our next set of challenges are Koba, son of the Ikorok Ego Elder. The trainer refuses to be eclipsed by his father, Legacy, and he as he creates his own. Squaring off against Jace, who we still don't really know anything about. I really thought someone would have gotten me more info on this kid. Trainer, say your piece. I actually do remember this guy. Do you? Yeah. He's from the my very first My father, Howlett, has been helping me train my entire life. I will be an ego elder someday. This battle is just the next stepping stone to reach that goal. I'll show you what true battle mastery looks like. Will you, though? Koba. Nido King. Just gonna earthquake. You live that. You have Oz Punch. That's curious. Oh, so close. Wouldn't it have been better to use a poison move there? Uh, no, because of our ground. Are we ground? No, we're rock on it. Yeah, we're yeah, rock. rock. So yeah. that that would be normally effective, right? Yeah. Ooh, so um, it'd be super effective against that. Well, whatever. I'm a champ. All right, savagery. This is what you. This is what you're here for. Let's see who's the strongest one, Champma. Oh, well, I guess Champ was the stronger one. <laughs> Except also, also he doesn't have, he doesn't have no guard because that would have hit anyway. <laughs> Either that or no guard doesn't work. But uh, that we ate that rock slot. Ooh, Zatu. What does does Zatu just come in here and die? Like Zatu comes in here and air slashes you if, you if he survives. Okay. I don't think anything survives. Oh, Thrash? Too bad that's not a really cool move. Also, he probably would have sent the Steel Type down, right? Maybe? If he, if he already oh, had Charizard? Alright, All right, well, that's a problem. Well, is it a problem? Wait, it's not a problem. <laughs> yeah. Because he's a dragon. And we're faster because of our scarf. Oh, oh he might not. Oh, that's <laughs> no, nothing lives this thing. I drink it. Alright, well, all right, no, that's, that's just a problem for you. <laughs> Bye. The only way that lives is Focus Sash. God, this thing is so busted. Oh, Blizzard? Uh, no thank you. Oh, Torterra. Torterra Tor might live. Torterra might survive. Uh, I'm saying, let Sacred Retreat have that streak if you wanted it. Yeah, I'd rather not waste for a mob, though. I can help it. I'll just Ice Beam. Sorry, Torterra. I like you, buddy. You got to go down. I don't plan to let this failure hold me back. Savage Fairies, just however, kinda... will hold me back forever. <laughs> Savagery just came in there and cleaned up. Jace adds another win under their belt. What a battle. Competitors, please head to the tournament lobby and update your battle record. Oh, it's not our rival. It's actually Lucy. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're about to witness the final battle of the Trident Tower Tournament. For those tuning in at home, words fail to convey the energy and determination we are all witnessing today. Our final matchup is between Lucy, Professor Wormwood's top research assistant, and her opponent, the mysterious Jace from Parts Unknown. Trainers, make your final remark. Have we battled you? Uh, how it was Wolverine, I forgot. <laughs> yeah. I had a feeling you were going to become a strong trainer. Professor Wormwood was worried about you, but I knew that was misplaced. Look forward to this, no matter which way it goes. We're looking forward to this. Oh, Grimfowl. You 
could get nasty plot. That's scary. Don't live. Uh, the thing is, I get, get predicted, dude. <laughs> I think I have to stone it. Oh, well, that just sucks. Unless he oh, <laughs> I think I still just stone edge. Quiverance. Don't I, I have to land a stone edge? Sure. Or else he gets swept. Okay. As long as you're not focus sash, not thank God. I'm sure he was focus sash. I was like, terrible. oh no, <laughs> oh no. Lazy kid. Alright, um. We could go Savage Tree <laughs> and play her off again. I think we might be faster. Oh, You're that's gonna be neutral. Yeah, I was gonna say it'll be neutral. We we probably also... still one shot because Lazy Kid is really bulky. Yeah. yeah. We have burned through a lot of play roughs though. Quest bars. Oh, crap. What time? Should be. It's dragon, right? You said it's dragon. Dragon ground, right? No, no, it's not. It's it's fairy. It's fairy ground. Oh, fairy ground? Okay. Yeah. Um, do we go Lorela and just Osbeam? Uh, safe option, yeah. Yeah. So we're under leveled for these. Like, I think every one of our Pokemon is going to higher level than us, except for, uh,. Skull Kraken. This Magius. Ooh. What do we. Oh, Umbra. That's what we did. Umbra comes in all day on this Magius. It just not dazes. Alright, every one of your Pokemon have setup moves. Ooh, that's not every good for us. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Well, see. We have an answer to this. Sinvex, if she instantly switched instead of just uh, following through with it, probably means she has no answer to dark types. Probably. Dragonaut. Alright. So here's my thought process. We go Savagery to play rough instead of going more a lot. Because I have to think, I think this thing's going to be multi-scale. And... Oh. Yeah, if it's multi-scale, that would be a problem. Yeah, and I don't think Lorelai's going to be able to do enough. Savagery also probably won't be able to do enough, but it'll be a huge chunk of damage. Even with multi-scale. And I kind of want to see how much it does. I also can mention it there. Oh, if that thing didn't have multi-scale, then it got wrecked. I wish if it did have multi-scale, that is ridiculous <laughs> damage. Alright, uh, Miss Magius, we just, we just go back and make Grimfowl. I, I'm curious to know if that thing had... It, if you guys know, if someone's watching this and knows if that thing's got multi-scale, let us know. Because, uh... I, I would be very curious to know if it does. That just shows the power of Lissy. You lived. Do you have a berry? Yeah, you have a berry. Do you have Thunderbolt? You do have something like this. This is gonna hurt. I don't know. She instantly switched then. We got critted. Oh, she was she was fully prepared, too. She got a sweat. She's really still Mott Sweep. Um... Uh, we go Lorelai, because we're, that's someone that's super fast, and we just go ahead and Shadow Ball. Get wrecked. Wow, you sure have learned a lot in your short time here. And the winner is Jace, the Pokemon Trainer Extraordinaire. Jace, please come accept your reward. Jace, you've done an incredible job today. We're going to be inducting you into the new Trident Hall of Fame, so you can always remember your victory here today. Ivy, our starter. Uh, Sorceress. Yeah, the Sorceress. Uh, Blissey, the most busted Pokemon in this playthrough. Uh, Grimfowl was pretty solid, especially early game. It was like a hard carry. Gorgia yeah, I was, was I also sure about it at first. Uh, so was Skull Kraken. Like, Skull Kraken didn't do anything until it became a Skull Kraken. But uh, after that, Skullcracking was like, hey, let me show you what's up. 40 out of 473. Time, 1525. It's actually really short. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we're not done yet, but... 
Congratulations, Jace. I know you had it in you to rise up to the challenge. It must be destiny that you arrived at this moment. Do you remember that artifact you helped me retrieve when you first got the haze board? I told you we were going to embed it in the trophy for this tournament. Here we are now, with you rightfully earning that trophy. Yeah, yep, definitely the thing we're looking for. <laughs> what gave it away? <laughs> Congratulations again, Chase. Soon, we'll be holding Taylor tournaments daily. Hope you decide to join again and keep your title champion. As for the trophy, champions will be allowed to spend a few days with it to show family and take pictures, but it must be returned to the museum for display. Well, that's it for the tournament. Thanks again for competing. You really did put on a great show. Feel free to stay around and mingle with the other competitors and guests. We ain't got time for that. Instead, we're gonna go heal, because we're the champion. So, uh, uh, I think that's a, honestly like a, a good spot to wrap it up. Uh, so, we're 15 hours in, uh, so as you guys can see, we do have just a little bit more like story stuff. We gotta wrap up the plot, essentially. Uh, after we wrap up the plot, though, I think that's where we'll probably call it. I know originally I was like, maybe we'll do the post game, but the post game's a big grind. <laughs> uh, and I really don't have the time to do it as much as I used to. Um, so we'll probably move on to something else afterwards. But uh, if you want just a short game, I would I'll, I'll, I'll probably recommend this. Uh, I've had a lot of fun with it. Um, but, like I said, that's uh, that's where we're going to end it for this week. So I'm pretty sure that's three episodes. Uh, remember, if you like the series, uh, subscribe, like, shield, all that good stuff. It really helps me out a lot. Well, um, I mean, don't... Don't... <laughs> that's no, I use the word shield. You shield my channel is what you do. <laughs> so, and if you want to see more Pokemon stuff and more, like... JRPGs and stuff like that, uh, you know, you know where to find me. And Def. Def's here too. I am here. So, uh, until then, we'll catch you guys next time. Later.